Well, hello there. And here's something that I found a spot that, that I didn't notice until maybe a few days or a few weeks. I think it was a few days, yeah. That I, after I'd made this box here, this, so this box here is my coffee box and everything in there is something I use to sort of make a coffee and maybe make some tea or hot chocolate. And I got a chance to pick up some supplies and I, I keep everything in there. And I noticed that it just, and this is by kind of wonderful accident, it actually fits perfectly where it is right now. And so it sort of creates this continual thing. By the way, this thing here is a storage box and it's sitting on top of it is my, uh, my Mr. Big Buddy heater, which is rated for inside, by the way. And I don't use it all the time. I use it if I want some quiet because in the background you could probably hear the diesel heater going and and that all that heat is being directed by the silver duct which uh, I've done videos for so if you saw if you thought that was kind of weird it probably was especially if you don't know what the context is and here is a quick view of my coffee box and all a coffee box is is a box that contains everything I need to make a cup of coffee or even some some tea or hot chocolate and that includes some water right here I've got a thermos here as well that will if I have access to hot water I'll fill some up or if I boil too much hot water I'll throw it in there what's great is whatever I keep in that thermos isn't gonna freeze this winter which is a problem during winter I mean this here Unless they keep the temperature at a room temperature, right? It'll actually freeze. And I'm going to come back to my van with a frozen frozen jug of water. But that's okay because I also have uh, an, insulate, an insulated box that I keep that in. The other one that I have is I have my filters here. I have my coffee there. And then I have my, my dripper right there. Now, uh, one, one of the other things that I have that I also keep here is I have some coffee made. And in my fridge that's located over there, I have some cream if I want some. So that's a quick tour of my coffee box. And that, this is in my self-built camper van. It's partially built. And hopefully uh, you guys are learning something from here. And it could be something that you could make as well. It, could, it doesn't even have to be a coffee box. It could be any kind of box where you just have to quickly access it. So this morning, uh, it's a warm day it's about I think about four 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 degrees Celsius and uh, I, I'm running the heater at full tilt and it's something that I do on a daily basis for about 25 about 20 minutes 30 minutes and what it does is any soot buildup kind of gets burnt off and that's what I that's what I learned and I understand that's that's kind of good for the heater in that way so that you're not getting all this smoke right so I've been doing that on a daily and so far it's been pretty good. I'm going to just kind of kick that in there. You know that never has completely closed and I think this is part of what what happens when you're doing a budget build. You sort of use what you can and if you look here you've, you've got various types of wood. For example this one here, I think this piece of wood I got this as a remnant at Home Depot for like five bucks. You know, it was a big piece. It had, it had some uh, uh, scratches on uh, or somebody had written on it this one here is from I think it was from the trash yeah and here you could you can absolutely see the cardboard so my entire kitchen the main base is a cardboard but I also have this which is uh, flooring laminate flooring that I use so that it you know, it, when, you know when it gets wet it's, it's okay and this one here this is like a three dollar plastic plastic tub <laughs> container I can't even remember anymore but yeah so it's budget build and and everyone and I always bring to attention this guy here the crazy wires that's where I spent all my money was the wires I didn't want to mess around with with electrical at all it just smells so good here nice and caffeinated the wonderful pour okay I'm gonna see if I could Pour this another one while keeping the camera steady. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna pour it right here. And then, there we go. That's nice. Sweet. Check it out.
And there you have it. Please support my channel by commenting and subscribing. It's free and it can help you with your own tiny home build as I will be giving out free tips and tricks on how you can make it happen. And if you believe someone else may benefit, please share the video of my curated playlist.